and welcome to the pitch. As always, I am Mitch Sabatelli. Next to me is Mike Pasperoni. We're going to be doing two shows this week. One, like I said, is going to be the MLB preview special. And later on, we're going to be talking about all the NFL news. We're going to start with the divisions here. Um, Peps, who do you like in the AL East? I think the Yankees are going to be really tough, but I love the Red Sox. Obviously, I'm a Red Sox fan. We've got the Patriots blanket all about New England teams. I think the Red Sox can do it. I mean, the tough thing is going to be the starting rotation. Hopefully, they can get over that with Dubron and Seves coming in. I think Seves will be a good addition to the starting rotation with Beckett. And, you know, I mean, just Lester. I think Lester have a really big year this year. Like, I mean, you will talk about that. You think it's going to make the rotation up? I think he will. He's, he's, he's actually been proven to be doing pretty well in the spring training. I think the Red Sox are going to take it and redeem themselves from that 7-20 September last year. All right, and as everyone knows, I am a huge Red Sox fan too. But for the first time in the last three years, I'm going to go against the Red Sox. I hate what they did to me last, last season. The worst oh. collapse of all time is I had them go to the World Series. I'm going to be picking the New York Yankees. I love what they did this offseason with their rotation, getting Michael Pineda and Hiroki Kuroda, going along with CeCe Sabathia, Ivan Nova, Freddie Garcia. Maybe Phil Hughes can come in there. I really like the rotation. That back end of the bullpen is intact. David Robinson, Mariano Rivera. Real solid one-two in the back end there. And also that lineup, it's getting up there in age, but it's one of the best in the AL. Go down the line. Robinson Cano, Mark Teixeira, A-Raw, Jeter still got something. You know, I mean, it's a, it's a solid lineup top, 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 top to bottom. Very solid team. They, I think they've just good shots. Right? It, it's it's they've got a very good team. 97 wins last year, and I think, you know, Brennison, I think, is going to still – everyone's going to say – everyone's saying how Brennison's year was a fluke. I think yeah. with that short porch, I mean, he's a real solid player. I think you might see another good season from Very Curtis Brennison. I like the Yankees in the AL East. Kind of reminds me of a Soriano in a way. Yeah. Harrison, but Moving on to the AL Central, Peps, who do you like in the AL Central? I like the Detroit Tigers. I honestly think that team is stacked to the max Top to in the bottom. middle of that order. Top to bottom, Central. But, I mean, yeah, I think out of all the divisions, it's by far the easiest prediction right here. I'm going with the Tigers as well. Throwing Verlander at the top, the, the best pitcher in the game today, in my opinion. When was the last time you seen a, a pitcher win an MVP and Cy Young in one year? It's a crazy season he had wild. last year. But yeah, that defense is going to suck this year with Miguel Cabrera at third base. It's going to be weak over there. However, that hitting is going to carry that team. Against that weak, against that weak you know, Twins pitching, Indians pitching, they are obviously going to rake, rake over there for Detroit. Prince Fielder and Miguel Cabrera instantly become the best one-two combination in this game. Righty-lefty, something we, nobody's ever seen since David Ortiz and Manny a couple of years ago with the Red Sox. That is a feared one-two punch right there. And they could, and Miggy could put up some MVP numbers. And I think Prince Fielder, I mean, going from the NL to the AL, it might be a little bit of an adjustment. However, they, now he doesn't have to be that power guy. So he's got Miguel Cabrera right behind him. Before he was that power guy, yeah, Brian Braun was solid. But he was he was no Prince Fielder when it came to power. Uh, I'm still going to I'm agree with Pepsi. I like Detroit in that AL Central. And I also like that rotation, you know, going behind him with Porcello. I think it's a solid... Uh, it's all one, one through five yeah. there. It, um, we're gonna move on here. AL West, Peps, who do you like? I really West? like the redemption for the LA Angels. I think it's. I think the Rangers are done. They're not gonna come back and go to the uh, AL Championship again. Mm -hmm. So I think they'll. Think I'm gonna they'll agree take... and disagree with you a little bit. I like the Rangers it to win this division because of the experience, because they have that the best lineup in the game, in my opinion. Solid one through five starter rotation. Yes, they've been to the World Series back to back years. I don't like them to get back to the World Series again. <laughs> However, I think it's going to be a little bit of adjustment period for Pujols. I think that you might see a little injury, uh, a couple guys who are injury prone over there with the Angels. Torrey Hunter, Vernon Wells, they're all getting up there in age. Could be some problems there. Even Albert Pujols, 32. But I do love that Angels rotation yeah. with Dan, Dan Harron, Jared right. Weaver, Urban Santana, like Pep said, CJ Wilson. That's the best um, one through four, I think, in this game right now, now that Roy Oswald left the Phillies. Solid, solid rotation there for yeah. Mike Sosha. Mike Sosha, one of the most, the best coaches in this game. Very good. I like that lineup with the Angels. However, I do like the Rangers top t one through nine, best in the game. Yeah. Elvis Andrews, Michael Young, Josh Hamilton, go down the line. Absolutely loaded for Kenny Washington. Very good teams. Very I'm tough go, teams. I'm going go, to go with the Rangers. AL Wild Cards, my AL Wild Cards are the Red Sox. I think they're going to come back with a vengeance under Bobby Valentine. I think Adrian Gonzalez might put some MVP up, MVP numbers for you. Yeah. I think Clay Buckles might have a big year. Everybody's been talking about how he's injury yeah. prone. I like the Red Sox to bounce back here. Dustin Pedroia, huge year this year coming up. And also I'm going to go with the Angels as my other wild card, beating out the Rays. 
I think what Pep said, it's a solid, solid rotation, yeah. solid lineup. I like them. Pep's what you would like for Wildcats. Honestly, I'm going like... to go with the Yankees in the wild card. obviously. This is no surprise. The Yankees, very good team, very solid. Could arguably be right there with the Red Sox, I think, the whole way of the season. Like, a lot of people have them pegged better than the Red Sox, including myself. But I, I just think the Red Sox, this is their time to rebound. Right, and they're very, yeah. they're coming back with a vengeance. And mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a very big vengeance in a big way. And the Yankees are going to take the first wild card spot. And I'm going to go with the Texas Rangers making the second wild card spot. All right, let's work through this NL right here. NL East, I like the Phillies. Yeah, Ryan Howard's a little banged up. However, that rotation is very, very solid. Halliday, Lee, Hamels, best one, two, three. I do like the Angels four, one through four, but one, two, three definitely goes to the Phillies. In that experience, line up with Pence. Out Lee, you can't go wrong. Rollins is back. Solid catch in there with Ruiz. I still like the Phillies to take that division in that tough, real tough division. You can make an argument that four teams yeah. could win that division. I mean, I think they're going to have uh... I think Miami is going to put themselves back on the map, switching from Florida to Miami. The just, only thing I'm worried about Miami is the whole Aussie I'm not, I'm not thinking I'm just thing. going into a thing. I don't. I think. I think Aussie can be good for them. He's. I think he's, he's not going to take any crap. He's, he's shady. If Hanley Ramirez oh, yeah. wants to sit back there, yeah. he's going to put him in his place. He, he's shady character at times, but he he can be a proven leader as a coach. But I think it's going to be the Phillies. Arguably, no. I also think you can say this. It's going to be tough. But no real argument. The Phillies, they always, the Braves seem to be choke artists. Like every single time in the playoffs. Like there was years so they won like, they're solid, but they're that team that'll make the playoffs get knocked out right away. They never make it to Or the not end. make the playoffs last year. Or not make the playoffs at all. Like, and then the Red Sox. But I mean, I'm going to go with the Phillies. Good starting rotation, good lineup. Um, players are back from injury, and I think it's going to be destruction of the NL East. NL Central, this might surprise some people. I'm still taking the Cardinals over the Brewers. Yeah, they lost Pujols, but they also got Carlos Beltran as a solo replacement. I still think they might have the best lineup there now that the Brewers did lose Prince Fielder. Looking around there with Matt Holliday, David Fries, who emerged in, in the playoffs last year. You got a real solid team there with Carlos Beltran. Um... You know, I think the Cardinals, I think, look for Adam Wainwright to have a huge bounce back year. Yeah. He, had a, he, had, he was injured all last season. However, I think he's going to come back, and I think he's, he looks strong so far. And also, Chris Carpenter is a little bit banged up, but expect Adam Wainwright to carry that rotation. And Dave Duncan, the best pitching coach, he always has one pitcher that emerges every year from that rotation and looks like a uh, an, an all-star. I really like the Cardinals. And, you know, the Brewers can come out there. Reds can come out there. I don't like the Reds' rotation. That division yeah. then is very weak, though. I, it is weak, but I, I, I mean, I think the Brewers will they'll always be up there. I honestly, I'm gonna go with the surprise one here. I'm gonna go with the Brewers. I mean, I know that's like the other option. I love, I love Gallardo. He's a very good Greinke. emerging pitcher. Mm -hmm. You got Granky, and then you got Braun. You got all these guys coming in. This Braun, ridiculously one of the best great hitter the and mm -hmm. a great position player too. I think it's gonna be. The Brewers. The Hebrew Hammer. I just think the Brewers are going to do it. They're going to come together as a team. They lost field. That's a big loss for them. But I think together as a team, the pitching's going to step up and the hitting's going to step up behind Ryan Braun to help fuel them into a playoff position. All right, Pat, I know you're going to surprise here for NL West. Who are you taking NL oh, West? NL West. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I was thinking AL West for a minute, my bad. Um, yeah, uh, LA, I'm going to go with the LA Dodgers. I just, I don't know why, I love uh, Kershaw, emerging pitcher. I think Ethier is going to step it up more this season, right with Matt Kemp, who's going for that 50-50, which yeah. I believe is very tough. But exactly. I think if he says he can do it, he can do it, because he was very proven last year. So, I mean, I'm going to go with the Dodgers in yeah. kind of a shocking pick, but I think it's one of those divisions if, it's if open. the Padres can go like 81 and 81, Nobody expects the Diamondbacks if the Padres can back. go 81 81, and a team like the Diamondbacks can win that division, mm -hmm. I think anyone can win the division. I think it's up for grabs. I think the Dodgers are going to go grasp it. I know you like that one two punch with Kershaw and Camp. I do think it's a two team race here between the Giants and division winners last year in, in Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks have a real good rotation. Daniel Hudson, of course, Ian Kennedy, who had 21 wins last year. And also emerging hitters there Justin Upton, Chris Young. Real solid team there, young team. However, I'm going to go with the Giants in that absolutely dominant rotation. You look at down the line, Linscombe, Kane, Volga Song, Zito. Um, it's, just, it's a solid team over there. Uh, I'm going to go with the Giants here. I think Buster Posey might have MVP, an MVP-type season. Bounce it back. They said they're not going to yeah. overdo him at catcher. They already informed me he cannot block the plate anymore. I think Buster Posey's going to come back and have a solid, solid season, both average-wise and power-wise. 
Also from Pablo Sandoval, just got LASIK surgery. I think he's going to absolutely rake this season. I like the Giants. And for my wild cards, I'm going to go stay in the NL East. I'm going to take the Braves again. I still think they're solid, top to, top, top to bottom. Jason Hayward in the offense, solid pitching there with Tommy, Tom, Tom Hansen, as well as Brandon Beachy. I think they're solid. And I'm also going to go with, this is a surprise, Washington Nationals. I've talked about their lineup. Absolutely stacked. Michael Morse, Ryan Zimmerman, Danny Espinosa. Um, Bryce Harper is going to start the season in AAA. He's going to be coming back midseason. Also, Jason Worth. Solid rotation there. Gio Gonzalez. Uh, of course, Strasburg and Zimmerman. That's my Wildcats. I know how you're saying, like, with the Giants and the West and everything, but like you said, I'm going to also agree with you in the sense of I'm not going to pick a team from the West to get in the wild card spots because I think that division's up for grabs. It's weak, and one team's going to get in. The one team in general will be lucky, like, just to even get to the top of that division. So I It's mean, a very tough division. Very tough, but very weak. But I'm going to go with a shocker here. I'm going to go with the Miami Marlins. It's not a shocker. In the oh, East. I mean, yeah, but... Like, the Braves are proven, the Cardinals are proven. You can go with any of those teams. But the Braves, I feel like, are old news. The Braves have always been old news. They're an older team. Grand they, they're Hayward. pretty young. Brian, Brian McKay and Jason Avery. They're Hayward. a 40-year-old third baseman. You're an old team. It, he's, that's about it, though. That's, that's about their only old that's, guy. Who, by the way, has announced his retirement at the end of the year. Still he great. I, I, he's a great player. But I think the Braves, in general, their reputation is the reason why they're not going to make the playoffs once again. And I think... It's just going to be the Miami Marlins, new emerging yeah, team. This I'm also going to go with the St. Louis Cardinals. All right, we got to rush through yeah. these MVP, Cy Young, breakout team, and World Series picks. My MVP from each league, I'm going to go with Adrian Gonzalez in the AL. And, you know, I think he's going to come back with a vengeance. I think now his shoulder is finally healthy. I think he's going to put a better power numbers. Expect his average to dip down a little bit, but RBIs and homers to skyrocket. In the Cy Young, in the NL, I am going to go with... Clayton Kershaw, I think he, uh, Tim Lincecum's right there with the Giants. However, for Cy Young, you don't really need to get the playoffs. Clayton Kershaw, absolutely dominant last year. I think that's going to continue. Uh, Patrick, do you like the MVP and Cy Young? Um, MVP, I'm going to go with, um, well, MVP. I'm going to go with uh, Prince Fielder. Sorry about that. Prince Fielder okay. with the Detroit Tigers. I think that uh, going into a new lineup with all that power and stability through 1-9, through nine, move from the Brewers to a team like Detroit and facing those American League pitchers will really help him out. And I think that he'll get more home runs and come through more with his power numbers. And I think he's going to have a very good year and be the Prince Fielder everyone thought he could be. All right. And honestly, I think Cy Young. Cy Young. I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with uh, Verlander, honestly. Yeah. I think Verlander will do it again. He's, I like Verlander as the Cy Young winner in the AL, Kershaw, NL. Uh, like I said, Adrian Gonzalez is going to be my MVP in the AL. NL MVP is going to be a little bit of a shocker here. I am going to go with Buster Posey. Like I said, he's going to put out MVP numbers there. I do believe that the MVP needs to make the postseason. I think the Giants are going to get there. I think Posey's going to have a huge year. It's I'm very weak go, cast for MVP in the yeah. NL there. I'm going to go with my... Uh, my original, like, the team pick for the West in general with the L.A. Dodgers. I'm going to go with Matt Kemp. I believe, I don't know if he'll get 50-50, but I think he'll have a very solid year once again, and I think he'll come through for that Dodgers lineup, eventually catapulting that team into the playoffs. And for pitcher, I'm going to go with Roy Holiday. I think Roy Holiday is a proven leader, as so he's, he's always answer. been. I think he'll, I think he's obviously good. Right, I like it. He's got resume to be and Cy Young. Your so. breakout team is definitely the LA Dodgers. I already mentioned mine. It's gonna be the Washington wow. Nationals. My World Series pick is got this one's gonna this one's a little tough. I am going to go with the Detroit Tigers over I'm gonna have them going over the San, San Francisco Giants in a battle of absolute epic pitching right there. Tim Lincecum, Justin Verlander, but I do think I do like that one-two punch with Prince Fielder and Mickey Cabrera. I think they're going to adjust. It's all about injury. If they can stay healthy, I like the Detroit Tigers as an absolute lock for the division. And anything that happens in the postseason, I do like the Tigers. It's so. just me being biased here. I'm going to go with the Boston Red Sox over the Philadelphia Phillies. I think the Phillies are a very tough team. Not many teams are going to be able to compete with a team like that in the playoffs with that resume of pitching ridiculous pitching, it's very good to hitting, up. tough to beat a team like the Philadelphia Phillies. Boston they Red Sox emergence them. bounce back here. After a 7-20 September, you're going to have to want to step up, and this is the time to do it. They need either Crawford, 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 Gonzalez, and those guys are going to step up with Ellsbury and Pedroia, 
And I think Aceves will be that guy to step Real up that Real quickly before we wrap so up. Red Sox uh, over Phillies. Do you think J Jacoby Ellsbury is going to have the same kind of year or to digress a little bit? I think he's going to have the same kind of year. I think it'll right. get better from here. All right, that's all we got for this episode. Tune in next episode with the NFL News.